Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's go to 2-2 or 2-2 two -two for ballerinas. Anything behind me? No, but there is awesome music. I love this song and I've still got this ridiculously powerful power here. <laughs> So I might as well show you the ins and outs of destroying everything in your path with the greatest of ease. By the way, look out for these pillars. They will fall and they will hurt you. Obviously, they are set up to be traps, but they're pretty obvious traps actually because you can see them starting to move down towards you as you approach them. It's like they know what they're doing though. They are sentient pillars of death. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna bash your head on the wall back and forth. That's gonna cause a concussion, you poor thing. Here, I'll put you out of your misery. I hope you're happy with what I did. Because now you don't have to feel pain anymore. <laughs> um, let's see. I think a sh Oh, God. <laughs> I think a shard is coming up in a pit, if I recall, with this emerald. Uh, emerald, this level. Um... Yeah, in the next area, there's going to be a ruinous area, this right here. You've got to make your way down to the center and to the very bottom. You'll see what I mean, why I have to do that once I get there. Boop! Oh, I missed. <laughs> Can I? Nope. Oh, I'm close. But you see where the shard was there. This wasn't the place that I'm supposed to drop down, though. It's a little bit further. In fact, I think I have to fall down... A floor to get there. Not this one. There's a one up up there if you want that, I, su I suppose. These guys are a lot like the Scarfies in that they come after you when your back is turned. <laughs> okay, now here. Fall through there. Yeah, there's a secret hole. It's uh, like, like another one of those hole traps if you walk over it. It just happens automatically. But if you're looking around the area for that shard, you shouldn't have any issues finding that hole if you're just walking around. Ow! <laughs> and come on. This power is extremely powerful, but it is kind of hard to handle. <laughs> Food! Alright, let's go inside. And I believe there is a shard down there. Correct! That is number two. And I'm going to go up here in these precarious platforming to get some stuff just for the fun of it. I don't have to go up here at all, but I believe these are some sort of lanterns. I think they are. I'm not sure about that, but yeah. <clears throat> Obviously, you dodge the fire along the way, but that's kind of a given there. Look out for the floppers of death. Uh, look out for these as well. They'll squish you. Yeah, that's, that's not very good. There's, I believe there's another shard in this area somewhere... Ow! If you touch it, it goes up. That's how, you, how they trigger. That's how you, I mean, it's, yeah, how you trigger the thing to move. Where was the thingy? Don't remember. I just think it's in, ow. <laughs> I think it's in this area, but I don't remember where it is. Hmm, was it in the water? Maybe. Was it outside the water? Who knows? Um, or maybe it wasn't in this area. Maybe I'm thinking of it being in a later area. Uh, hmm. <laughs> well, I hope I didn't miss it. Because I'm leading back outside here, and I'm going to be shot at from the sides of the Great Wall of China here, while Sandman is protecting the area. Yeah, these guys are called Sandman. I just sometimes say guy and stuff like that, uh, you know, just for the fun of it. Uh, but I do know most of the enemies' names. I actually took the time to memorize um, a lot of the enemies' names, like that guy there was Bouncy, uh, because of the fact that I figured I wanted to be a little bit more informative with the walkthrough, but being ultra informative is not all that entertaining <laughs> in practice, so I kind of thought about just like derpy derpy, you know, acting a little derpy derpy for the fun of it. And I remember where the last shard is. It wasn't in the other area, it's in this area, and it's at the upper left corner. 
I remember now. There it is. Uh, but where... I need to find the right path. This is obviously like a maze. And by the way, King DDD, obviously I'm riding. I, I didn't re really make anything of that as I just jumped right on top of him there automatically. But he's like having the hammer power in uh, this Kirby game. He, he is the hammer power that is not your hammer power. <laughs> like you don't have the hammer power normally. He doesn't have any floaty jump and he's got a pretty large... That was stupid of me. He's got a pretty large hitbox. So you gotta be careful in using him. He's also pretty slow with certain things, but he has uh, unique mechanics that will let you get through certain areas. And I'm, I plan on exploring this place to its entirety. Uh, I'm not gonna bother collecting puny stars. The exit is in the upper right corner. I just wanna show you like the dead ends and, <laughs> and stuff you can get in those dead ends. Like here's the Maxim Tomato that you likely seen on the way over here. I just thought I would show for the sake of exploration and architecture of this game. Ah, the beauty. <laughs> okay, it's not. Uh, I guess it's pretty nice looking, actually. But I mean, it's it's not like ultra artistic as some of the uh, other areas are, is what I'm saying. But it is very nice to go through this ancient tomb of sorts. In case you didn't realize as well, there is some continuity between levels, like in terms of location and stuff like that. Hey, I got a card. <laughs> Like you can see, uh, place you jump from place to place, and then there's like a little bit of continuity between levels, and like this one is going to lead you down into the sandy cave depths, I guess. There's cake in this place for some reason. Maybe some explorer dropped their bag or something like that along the way, and they just lost it, and you know, it's just kind of an issue, and... I think I need, if I remember this level correctly, I need the stone power to get into something for a crystal shard. Oh, right here. <laughs> I think I'll be able to do it with just the stone and uh, spark power here. I think. Oh, yes I can, okay. Because you just need some, like, one type of element in order to get into places, and there you go. See that brown vertebrae there? It's kind of brutal, actually. You're destroying the corpse of some dinosaur-like critter here. It's, it's kind of mean and morbid if you think about it. <laughs> but perhaps we shouldn't uh, question the non-kid-friendliness of this game because it is clearly a not-friendly, I'm mean, not-kid-friendly game by the looks of things. I mean, you can just tell. Uh, you're actually supposed to drop down here, so don't worry about that being a place to fall to your doom. I'm just showing you that you can jump all the way up here. If you would like to, there's nothing here, just a nice little bit of detailing that they added in there that I thought I would show. Oh, the choose your destiny path thing. I believe you have to take the left one in order to get the crystal shard. Please tell me I got it right. Well, here's a boss. Ow. <laughs> and that was fast. <laughs> really, really fast. Did I get it right? Yes, I got it right! There we go. And you can tell what the other path is like. It's got a couple stars, but it's not really anything special there. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Don't go forward just yet. Ah! A star. That was not worth it whatsoever, but I always like to look behind wherever I start from in an area just to see if there's something sneakily hidden there. You can't kill the floppers in the background, by the way. They're just there for detail. Oh boy. Trap inch! What are you doing here? Oh wait, that's not a trap inch. What am I thinking? <laughs> no god. Uh, by the way, those guys down there... Uh, I don't really think I ever showed you these. They are glonks. They shoot things out at you. I always pass by them faster than I actually showed what they do before, so I thought I would just make a, a mention of them. Dang it, Trap Inch! You're always trying to get my food from me. Because Kirby is like 99% food if you think about it. I mean, just think of how much he ingests. <laughs> and now we're going underwater! Yet another transition to another area. Well, oh wait, this isn't the underwater area that I'm thinking of. Never mind. There's another area that leads to an underwater... Come on. Get out of there. There we go. Another underwater type of area later on that you go from land to water like that from a cave. You'll see when I get there. And... 
All right, we are making pro- oh wait, maybe this is the part that I'm thinking of because it goes from Yeah, land to water Hmm, I don't know why I didn't think this was the part, but I, I guess I just jumped the gun there <laughs> um, In this area, I don't know if there's any of them coming up here uh, I guess it's not right here just yet, but um, you got to look out for these random vertebrae falling from the ceiling, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know exactly where they're falling from, but it's it's odd that they fall from the ceiling to begin with. You'll see what I mean once I get there. <laughs> it's They don't hurt you or anything like that, they just push you downwards. But it's a thing of where do they keep coming from? <laughs> yeah, oh, this is the one. This is it right here. Where are they? I oh, hear you. Watch. Why? Where are they coming from? Like, why are they falling down the shaft? Is something attacking these things that's causing them to, you know, fall down like this? And by the way, there is a crystal shard above here. There's gonna be a, a blockade of these things that's gonna prevent you from getting it the first time. You just need to get it out of your way, and then you can go up a second time to get the shard. And I believe that does it for the level, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Did I get all the crystal shards? I think I got all the crystal shards. Yes, I did. And looking at the time, I think that's a good time to... Wait, wait, maybe not. Maybe I'll just go a little bit further to, to match up the part length that I've been doing lately here. That, that witch in the background there. It's, it's really odd. She, she's there, and she doesn't do anything. <laughs> she, it, I, it's, it, she's actually in the enemy list, like the enemy info card list. I believe her name is Kiki, but she doesn't do anything, like whatsoever. It's really odd. And in case you didn't realize in the background there, a pyramid just flew out of the ground, which is this spot right here, and we are about to go inside it. And I need a bomb plus spark power, if I'm not mistaken, for one of the mechanical segments in this area. By the way, if you go past this platform here, there is something for you, and I thought there was more than just a star. Wow, that's a terrible reward. But if you just step on this briefly, you won't be able to get off of it. And this elevator takes you inside to a wall shot soul section of which you've got to dodge little bullets. It's no big deal, really. They're just shooting at you happily. As long as you don't stay in one place for too long, you can easily dodge their shots. Yeah. <laughs> this is like basic platforming 101 to me. Even with these three at the same time, since they all shoot in the same direction, it's not really a big deal whatsoever. Anyway, I should start swapping all my power here. There's the first shard. I need bomb plus spark in order to get something a little bit later. And hopefully the enemies in this level will provide me with the power that I need to get in there. Wait, actually, aren't you a spark? Yes. Oh, I almost got squished there. <laughs> and here we go. Okay, so I got the spark. I got the zest for life. <laughs> and now I need a bomb. Oh no, this is where I need the bomb plus spark. Bomb plus spark is, it turns you into a light bulb and you'd be able to illuminate those three panels in the background to see what they are. They're completely randomized each time. Then you go into this room and then you choose the three panels that were on the wall. You can, in theory, guess the correct combination. The chances of you doing it is slim to none. <laughs> and I don't believe you can reset this as well. Oh, you can reset this. Or can you? Oh, yeah, you can reset. I'll, I'll try it one more time just for the fun of it. Uh, no. Well, if you do that properly, you'll get a crystal shard out of it. So I gotta come back in here with a bomb. Uh, unless I'm able to get one here and then I'm able to backtrack. I wouldn't get my hopes up, though. This place with a lot of... Uh, uh, moving blocks here. There's actually a lot to explore 
you'll see what I mean here. Uh, if you like, if you jump down, ow! If you jump down here, there's actually a one-up and a bunch of stars. It's just that this place is really, really wide open, so there's a lot of stuff to explore. I know there's a moving block that comes here. Or is it just being really slow? Oh, I guess actually have to fly over here, huh? That's fine. Oh, no, 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 oh god, oh god, oh god, well... There's my first death. <laughs> That's okay. I just respawn right here. Uh, the new areas act as checkpoints, so it's, it's not really a big deal if you die like right at the beginning of an area. I'm gonna grab the spark just in case I see a bomb enemy along the way. And then I'll backtrack over to... Ah! I pressed the B button a little too late there. <laughs> and then I'll backtrack over to that hole in the ground. Um, if there is one, but I'm coming near to the end of the stage and... Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have a shot at doing it. <laughs> at doing it without having to go through the stage again. That's too bad. There's the other crystal shard, I should say the final crystal shard. And go out here. Okay, these things right here, these ropes or poles, they're electrocuted or electrified. And you just wanna switch between sides like that and then just simply jump up the front here and then you're done. <laughs> it's really that simple for that last section. All right, I need a bomb power from somewhere. I'll probably go back to the first level just to get it. And then I'll see you back at that light bulb segment. Oh, I just noticed that there was a bomb enemy right at the beginning of this level. So I didn't have to go back to the first level. Dang it! Ah! So the level did give me all the tools I needed to 100% it. Here we are. Now... Light bulb Kirby illuminates, and you got sun, tree, star. So let me go into this room. And I don't know if you have to do it in the right order or not. I, But just in case, sun, tree, star. The jingle of satisfaction and completion. And all I have to do is beat the level. So, you see me do that before, so I'm gonna end it off here, because I'm really, really low on battery, uh, battery on one of my cameras once again, but that's the usual thing with me. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. I have just enough battery to show this, and I got a card, yeah!